Harvey One, I'm Mark Rosenthal with you on this Thursday. Hard to believe that 2016 is winding down. I'll tell you, we got a major storm coming. Not a major snowstorm in Boston, although we may start as snow and end as snow. I think the biggest amount of snow is going to be New Hampshire, Vermont, and Maine. The ski areas are going to get socked. Great news for you skiers. But if you live along the coastal plain and you want a big snowstorm, forget about it. Not going to happen. Not going to do it. Not going to throw up all over the Prime Minister of Japan. Naka, naka. All right, let's get serious. Serious, come into the room, and here we go. Let's look at the weather headline. A rainstorm from Boston to 495. Heavy, wet snow north. You know, something we should break this down because there is a winter storm warning in effect for northern and western Worcester County, and then a winter weather advisory in effect for eastern and southeastern Worcester County. And then we may get a little something here Saturday night. That's New Year's Eve. A little bit of very light rain or wet snow. It's just not a big deal. But the big deal for us in Boston tonight will be a strong west wind gusting over 45 miles an hour. So here's the rub today. Rain will break out in Boston. Could it start as snow before noon? Sure, it could start as snow and then just bang, it goes over to rain. And it's rain heavy at times. Boston to 495 this afternoon. But once you get out to Worcester, west of the Berkshires, southern Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, heavy wet snow, poor visibility, terrible driving. It'll be close to freezing there along the coast from Boston to Cape Cod, low and mid 40s with a gusty east and southeast wind. We don't snow in Boston with that. It's certainly not with the water temperature in the middle and upper 40s. And then so here's the deal on that. Then overnight tonight. The storm ends. It could end as a brief period of snow in Boston. Temperatures fall back in the low 20s. Everything's going to freeze up. That's a problem. And the wind from the west could gust to 50 miles an hour. That's a problem. There could be scattered power outages. Now, I want to show you the European snowfall total. Look at Boston, barely on the edge of gray, which would be about a half inch to an inch. So you see maybe an inch or two once you get to 495. But Worcester County, eastern Worcester County, uh, looks like something two to four. The high ground of Worcester County, six plus, and then six to 12 southern New Hampshire. Look at this in the Lakes region of Maine. I'm sorry, the Lakes region of New Hampshire. Really, Mark? The Lakes region of New Hampshire, about a foot and a half of snow into the western mountains of Maine. So skiing is going to be unbelievable this weekend. So let's look at your five-day forecast. goes like this behind the storm tomorrow. Sun clouds, windy and cold, near freezing teens at night. Saturday, a sunny start in the 30s. Maybe a little light snow Saturday night. Not a big deal, but it just takes a little bit to get the roads crazy. And then Sunday, it's mild. 42. Now, I thought earlier we'd get a burst of snow in here Sunday night. Scratch that. I might be too fast in the next storm, too. Monday, we should just have increasing clouds. It'll be in the 40s. Rain Monday night and Tuesday. Rain on Tuesday could be heavy at times. It'll be breezy and mild. Temperatures could be approaching 50 degrees. And everybody wants to know, hey, Mark, we're going into January. It's already been mild uh, for portions of December. What's going to happen? Well, I think it's going to turn much colder by late next week. And then the cold is going to overwhelm the pattern. Can it snow? Yes, I don't see it yet for Boston. I mean, if you're a snow lover like myself, you don't want to see one of these funky weather patterns. We could just go on and on and babble incoherently, but I'm not going to do that. I'll let you do that for me. <laughs> okay. That's my forecast. Thanks for checking in. Please stay tuned for updates. I'm Mark Rosenthal.